Hi, and welcome to Organo's first time tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn about Organo's basics, and I'll give you some tips on how to start working quickly, either by writing your requirements and testing, managing risk, or managing your documents in the document control. So, let's start with the onboarding. This is quite simple. Just select your project type, set project name, and you're ready to go. The system will now create your project. Now you are in your product tree. The blue case represents your project. Underneath, you can find all project documents. Before getting into understanding the structure of the product tree, let's have a quick overview of the Organo system. First is user area where you can personalize some settings such as password, screen mode, and more. This is the modules menu where you can switch between the hierarchic view of your product tree, dashboard for custom reports and getting started section, work items to manage your custom queries and filters, document control for electronic document management system, electronic signature to track electronic signature progress, service center for managing customer service calls and complaints, and admin to configure your system, such as managing users, groups, projects, custom fields, and more. This is the project selector where you can select the project you wish to work on. The default selected project is the one you have just created, but you can easily switch to some sample projects. To search the system, use the search panel with the option to filter your results by the work item type you are looking for. Now, let's review each section briefly. We will start with the dashboard. The default dashboard contains panels with some getting started tutorials you can use. As you can see, you have some presentations, such as Organo's ALM and Organo's QMS modules and some useful links such as getting started tutorials. The lower section shows you three videos of getting started with Organo's document management system. The system allows you to build unlimited number of dashboards and within each dashboard, unlimited number of panels. As you can see, there are some system dashboards here to start with, but this section is fully customizable. You can add new panels within seconds. Next, let's select the product tree which is a hierarchical representation of your project. Now these are actually electronic records that are structured hierarchically, so they eventually represent a document, which you can later on generate to MS Word, PDF, or HTML. So for example, we have the market requirements spec, system requirements spec, software requirements, hardware requirements, and mechanical requirements. Now, let's take the software requirement document for example. You can see the root item is the document. And underneath, you can see the headings, which only contain text, such as introduction and overall description. And under the specific requirements heading, you can see the actual requirements which are of type software requirements. These are the traceable items you can see that each software requirement gets a unique identifier with unique prefix. To add a new requirement, for example, click New and select the work item you wish to add, which is a software requirement in that case. Give it a name and description. All other attributes can be filled later on. Now click Save. This is how you add a requirement. Same as you add requirement, you can add any work item. Organos uses work items to manage electronic forms, such as software requirement, system requirement, risk, defect, test case, kappa, and many more. The tabs you see here represent more information about the selected work item, such as attachments, traceability, related defects, history of changes, and more. To view the product tree in document form, select the document you wish to work on and select the online document option. The document will be open as a document in a new tab. This allows several users to work on the same document simultaneously. 
To create traceability, click the tracing mode. The tracing mode will open the tree in two panes. Now, you can link items from the left side to items on the right side. In our example, let's link a test case to our new created requirement. So I'm selecting a test case and now I will select software requirement. Make sure to select low level items in the left side, such as test cases and high level on the right side, such as requirements. Then you can select the link type, test coverage, click save and create the relations. Once you've finished creating the traceability, you can close the tracing mode. Now let's switch to document control. It's actually the same concept as the product tree. We have a hierarchic view of your document control folders and documents with the following. Workspace is a high level space to include documents. Workspace can be a customer, a specific submission, or documents related to a specific department. Under workspace, we can add folders and under folders, you can add DMS items, which are the documents themselves. Let's add a new document. We will select folder under which we wish to add the document. And I will add my software test result document. After adding the DMS item and giving it a name, you can upload the file. This is as easy as drag and drop the document from your folder into the revisions area. Note that file default revision is A. You can download the file and upload it back. The change number will increase for each document change. Please check Organos DMS Import Export in Organos Help Center to learn how to import your documents. Work items is the place where you can filter your information based on a specific work item. Just select the work item you wish to track, select the filter, and that's it. You can easily create new filters. Administration contains multiple panels where you can customize almost everything. Users to add and manage users. Groups to manage permissions. Each user can be connected to several groups, but when added to a project, user is connected to the project with a specific group to indicate its role in that project. So user can be developer in project A and tester in project B. Projects. Manage your projects. Make sure to add users to the newly created projects after creation. So users can see them in the project selector. We have the customization panel where you can customize electronic forms, manage custom fields, set up traceability rules, and much more. Use the data sharing and settings to control data access for different groups. Define alerts and email notification templates based on events. Configure system settings. Download Organos add-ons such as the DMS importer that allows you to easily import your existing QMS and the DocGen to export your data into MS Word or PDF. In the Electronic Signature panel, you can define routing processes, and the FMEA panel is where you set up your risk management. Please check again with Organos Dashboard, and thank you for watching.